Daniel 3.29b, Hadamin yit aved, uvai te, nevali yish tave, kol kovel di la itai, ela achoran di yakul lachatz zala kidna. And finally, Saluk Sof Pasuk brings us to the end of the verse. So the first part of the verse was setting up for now talking about the penalty of people who blaspheme. So here it is. The beginning part we have seen before. This is the tearing of limb from limb. And then this next part, all the way up to Atnach, is talking about the house being turned into ruins. And we saw this in Daniel 2, 5 in threats from King Nebuchadnezzar against anyone who couldn't tell his dream to him and then interpret it. So here's the limbs word. We see the masculine plural. And then this is the tearing concept with expressed here with a hit pa'el, imperfect, which we see from that yod, right? Third person masculine singular. And then the next part about the houses being turned into dung heaps, you see the conjunction his house, see the house word right there. Here's the dung heap, and then it will be turned into. Uh, this is a hit pa'al. How do we know that? Well, look at this. There's the doubled middle radical. Hit pa'al, imperfect, third person, masculine, singular. And then the next phrase here, kol kol veil d, remember, is kind of like a because expression altogether. And then we have the negative particle. There is existential particle, a God, and then up to Zakev Katon, the word for another. There is no other God who he is able. So that's the Yod, Kaf, Lamed, Pa'al, imperfect, third person masculine singular. And then here we have a Lamed prefix, Comets, hey, suffix. So this is a sure indication for us we're dealing with some kind of infinitive. It's a hafel infinitive because we have this hey prefix, and we can see from this doubled tzadi that we had an assimilated noon. So that's noon, tzadi, lamed, and that's an, the idea of rescue. And then lastly, kaf before the demonstrative, like this. So all together... He will be torn limb from limb, and his house will be made into a dung heap because there is not any other God, basically, who is able to rescue like this.